Oh my god, have y'all been reading about all these people being rushed to the hospital for mask injuries? Oh yeah, of course you haven't, you idiot. <laughs> Wear a damn mask. Oh no, I read about someone that they couldn't breathe in it, it was it was just like struggling. I mean, it was a plastic bag they were wearing, but it was like a mask, right? Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Murdered by Words, where we're going to be looking at the best insults, comebacks and roasts on the internet, and then just feeling bad for the people that get hit by them, because there's just no coming back. Like, it is murdered by words. You don't do much when you're murdered, apart from, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Enjoy. One of the biggest power moves I have here in the Midwest when someone is being racist, sexist, or homophobic is that I tell them that I'll pray for them so that God can grace them with empathy, or that I feel sorry the devil has made his home in your heart, because you have not felt joy until you flip the script on a suburban house mom or an old racist white man. The joy of watching their face in shock and confusion while they're called out in Christian standards the same way they try to cover for their homophobia is a amazing. 100% suggest it, and at the very least, it gets them to shut up. <laughs> Ooh, good Christian hacks, an open-ended series. <laughs> Works wonders in the south too, and if they start to stutter and quote some cherry-picked bible verse for you, come back at them with, yes, even the devil can quote scripture, but that doesn't mean he understands it. I'll pray for God to grant you understanding in the fullness of his word. <laughs> Clip and save. I'm pretty sure I could say like any collection of words together and it would be in the Bible at some point. Like that book seems to have everything. <laughs> Let it be and do its job like every other. It's not the only one. <laughs> Hmm, I'm having a real conundrum here. I could listen to the advice of my doctor, the epidemiologists, virologists, biologists, or I could listen to this guy on Facebook with a tribal tattoo. I mean, who's to say who's right? Ugh, you do know you're supposed to make your own decisions, and it's not about who's right, it's just the ability to share our opinions. Oh, okay, Mr. Blank. You've been in a bad accident. You're losing a lot of blood and we need to operate. You? Ah, no thanks. We're supposed to make our own decisions. It's not about who's right, it's just the ability to share our opinions. That's how dumb you sound, even after I clean up your grammar. <laughs> yeah, just let it be and do its job. You know, kill hundreds of thousands of people, millions maybe. Just, it, it, that's its job. You don't stop a fireman putting out a fire, do you? It's the same thing. <laughs> this person who they've branded an idiot. I would never vaccinate or poison my kids. I rather a dead child than an autistic one. Just don't want my children to end up scrounging benefits with one of these made up mental illnesses. I don't want weak children. And her actual father puts, I'd rather a dead child than you. Jeez, like warranted 100% for that comment, but she, her own father, that should just like put perspective on things. Local community forum on Facebook posted info on a business that requires masks. This guy started calling everyone sheep for supporting it. Ugh, I do not go into a panic with something that has a 99.5% recovery rate called me old-fashioned. Do you also burn your house down because you saw a spider in it? Same mentality. <laughs> ah, yeah, tell it like it is, brother. We should do it like they do in Texas, man. They don't wear no masks and they are doing fine. I mean, the morgues are out of space and they're using refrigerator trucks instead. Also, they are running out of space, drugs, and staff in the hospitals, but they ain't sheep. Keep on not wearing those masks, man. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee the other guy responded thinking, oh yeah, this guy's on my side, I love this, brother. <laughs> the COVID vaccine is designed to microchip us. Okay, but for what? What information could the government possibly want that you haven't already given to Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Apple, Samsung, Spotify, Pandora, Sony, Microsoft, Walmart, Target, Amazon, FedEx, UPS, the USPS, Grindr, Tinder, OkCupid, okay Plenty of Fish, OnlyFans, Hub, YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, your cellular provider, your credit card company, your cable or satellite provider, your internet service provider, insurance provider, utilities provider, your past and present employers, banks, lenders, mortgage offices, rental company or landlord. Some of you need to hear this. 
you're not special. There's nothing the government doesn't already have on you, and they're not watching you. <laughs> That's always been my argument. Like, if the government wanted to track you, they probably would. And even if they did want to, and they were tracking you, why do you care? What are you doing that's so amazing, secretive, or illegal that you care that they're watching you for? Like, if they watched me, they'd just see me making videos and watching YouTube videos. That's all I do, like, I, I, it's not that exciting. <laughs> oxymoron, the definition of an oxymoron. A person who thinks wearing a mask for the 20 minutes they are in Walmart will cause them breathing issues despite them having no respiratory illnesses. <laughs> hmm, maybe that is the oxymoron definition. <laughs> My mask is invisible. That's my response to anyone who will ask me why I'm not wearing one. <laughs> You're the reason why this mandate was even required. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. Toddlers are exempt from the mandate. Ah, we're all good then. Yeah, just keep doing your thing, making your invisible mask. This guy also runs around in the park with his imaginary stick, pretending it's a sword. <laughs> Poland? Don't you mean East Germany and West Russia? <laughs> Wait, America? You mean Fat England? <laughs> As someone from England, I can say we're already quite a, a large country, so I would argue America is like Fat England with guns, yeah. Current status? Eating very poor quality cheese out of wrappers. Is this the point before or after cheese in a spray can? Uh, American hashtag cheese, cheese whiz, and Velveeta eat liquid gold are the worst cheese products. Velveeta replied, Not cool, Chris. We didn't say anything when Vista came out. Oh, uh, Vista was the Velveeta of Windows releases? Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, sorry, can't hear you. The Zoom is too loud. <laughs> that Zoom comment, it, it hurts. I used to have a Windows phone. They forced us to use Zoom. It was just, it was so awful. I'm like trying to plug it into my computer so I could get more music. It's like, oh no, you can't do that. You have to like plug it into this thing and then plug it into that thing and then like download this and then do that. And I was like, please, just let me listen to music. <laughs> Eat off his plate on the first date to establish dominance. Tee hee. <laughs> and leave her with the bill to establish consequences. I'm out of here. I said this in another video. This just doesn't sound like a good first date. They probably won't see each other again. <laughs> Musks have holes 2.4 times larger than the virus molecule. Sit on that one for a while. It's like going to the faucet to get a glass of water with a sieve instead of an actual glass. Okay, assuming you're right, let's say you're three feet wide across, running blindfolded through an open field. Now, let's say the field you're running through has poles poking out of the ground every nine feet. Obviously, you're much less likely to make it through, even though sometimes you could still get through. It's not foolproof, it just makes it less likely for you to transmit or intake molecules. The difference might be small for one person, but if everyone wears masks, there are fewer particles around in crowded areas, which makes it much less likely for people to get infected. On second thought, you capitalized some of the words in your comment and just said masks instead of worrying about type. Plus, you pulled the number 2.4 out of nowhere. That's totally dependent on the fabric used. All of which led me to believe that you have no interest in the facts and just want to spread your contrarian bull around. <laughs> If we don't close schools for the flu, why for COVID? Hmm. Wow, you'd think with a forehead that big, there would be a brain up there. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I can't watch your videos if you're going to be wearing a gag on your face. They don't help against COVID. If anything, you're doing more harm breathing in your own CO2 and not properly expelling harmful bacteria from your body. Second, not getting the proper amount of oxygen. HQC plus zinc, MMS, vitamin D, ultraviolet rays, and humidity is much more effective. Just saying. Do what you think is right for yourself. This guy replies, you're right, I'd be better off if I listened to you over thousands of scientists and doctors regarding the best strategy. You probably know more than this article, and this article, and this article, and this one, 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 and this one. These guys may have a point, but they have less years on the job than you do, so I wouldn't trust their conclusions. 
I should prioritize ensuring you, the person whose ad revenue brings in 0.03 cent a year, feels comfortable watching over the health of the 14 people I work with in the city worst hit by COVID in the entire country. I'm sure all of this is BS too. We got some fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. There's a lot of fake news here. There's there's a, a lot of it. Uh, yeah, th there's a lot. <laughs> Wow, I think you just ended this kid's life. <laughs> I wonder if the guy actually clicked any of the links to check them out. Probably not, since they did say fake news behind them, and if it says fake news, it's fake news. Oh no, I accidentally shaved my chin off. <laughs> Well, thank god you have a couple of backups. <laughs> I like how this guy actually posted it. Apparently it was his brother that said it. <laughs> god, people who leave their phones set to military time are freaking war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, Oh wow, I can understand that. Freaking bootlickers, what's next? You gonna join the army? Recruit me? Ah, Americans be like, Okay, I can't count past 12, actually. <laughs> I quite like the 24-hour format, because if you see it written as like 1600, then you know it's 4pm and not 4am, right? Is that not good? <laughs> Worked my butt off at Amazon with a hot and sweaty mask risking my life while unemployment got 600 bucks sitting on their butt. Make it make sense. Well, you're being underpaid by the richest man on the planet, and being told the problem is someone out of work getting a couple hundred bucks so they don't literally die. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, you are evil, Brian. May the wrath of God come upon you tenfold for all the harm you have done. Oh, hi Lin, there are around 3,000 gods worshipped around the world. Which one is yours at the moment, and what can I expect from his or her wrath? I'd like to know, you know, put it on my schedule. You know what else I can put on my schedule? These videos, which you can watch. So, you do this thing, and then you watch the video. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, watch the video if you want, like the video, and comment down below what you think of video.